When I first started freelancing, I don't even think I understood what the concept of an invoice really was. Who sent it? Who paid for what? How did I send one? What? What? Uh, it didn't make sense to me. But that's why we've created on Contra a free way to create, and send, and receive invoices. And today, I'm going to show you how. Let's get into it. So what the heck is an invoice? Sometimes invoices are referred to as bills or statements. In the world of freelancing, an invoice really is just a document that shows what a client owes a freelancer. And it's usually itemized so you can see exactly the deliverable and exactly the amount that it costs. So why do you even need an invoice, right? Couldn't I just email them a list of things? Yeah, technically you could, but when tax season comes around, you could totally go back and find your emails with all these lists of things that someone you, but that gets so confusing and so messy so fast. Trust me, I've done that. So instead, having them organized in one place and also organized by the invoice number is key. So today I'm going to quickly show you how you can do this on Contra 100% for free. And I want to start this by saying one important element. If you're thinking, I have a Contra account or maybe I'll make one, but my client doesn't have a Contra account. How does that work? You don't have to worry. We've created the invoicing tool to allow you to invite clients who are on or off of Contra. So no biggie. Okay, now let's get into the steps. Step one, you need to create a Contra profile. This is 100% free. It's not going to take you long at all. If you already have one, great. Let's move on to step two. You want to navigate to your projects and invoices tab. From here, you're going to select invoice. Then you will see a blank invoicing sheet. You want to first add your invoicing number. You can organize this however you deem fit. You can start with 01, 02, 03. Then you want to select the issued on date and the due date. Next up, you want to add in the email of the person that you're sending this to. If they're on Contra, they will appear. If they're not, they're going to get an email with the invoice. No sweat. Then you want to select the project. Next, you'll see the project tab. You have the option to click an existing project that's already happening on Contra, or you can add a new project. The next part is where it gets fun. You start to add in all the different itemized deliverables and the rates. An example of this would be logo design, $1,000 brand packaging, $500, social media marketing, $200, whatever the case is. Then at the end, you can add in a memo so you can say something like, hey, client's name, this is Sam here, and I'm just letting you know this is the itemized list of deliverables for this date to this date. Hopefully you can check this out soon. The due date is at the top. Or you can say, hey, Sam here, just wanted to send this over per our last conversation. Hope you have a good day something so, so simple just to give them context. And then from there, all you have to do is click send now. It couldn't be easier. So what are a few of the benefits to creating an invoice through Contra? You can get paid fast. You can get paid fast directly to your Contra wallet. And if you know anything about Contra, you know that it's 100% commission free. So if you're someone who is working as a freelancer, maybe you're even doing it off of Contra, it's a really, really smart idea to use Contra's invoices to manage all of your payments because you don't lose out on any of the money. Another benefit is that you don't have to have a paid project on Contra. If you know anything and you've watched our other video, how to create contracts, you know that there's paid projects, which essentially is an entire flow where a client and a freelancer work together on Contra. This skips a lot of those steps and just takes you directly to the part where you get paid. Also, a few other benefits of using invoices online. If they're online, you don't have the physical papers you have to organize and take care of. Now, nah, those days are over. You can also backlog all of these onto your computer or even on a hard drive. That's what I do. And when you're filing these, rename them, keep them organized. It honestly takes three seconds to organize a folder on your computer. We just all aren't very good at it. But trust me, you will be thanking yourself in the future. And when do you even send an invoice? Maybe it's when you have project revisions or just a project based on a certain amount of hours. Maybe there was a change in the project scope or even for expenses. The list could go on, but just know that invoices are almost always useful. We'll keep this one short, but if you wanna learn more about invoices, there's two blogs I'm gonna link in the description box. And if you have any questions out of this video, please drop them below. And if this was helpful, please, please like and subscribe because we are gonna be sharing videos on freelancing and hiring freelancers. So a lot of value coming your way. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the internet.